Hi boys and girls. Today it's time to talk about numbers. And numbers are part of something called math. And you'll be doing a lot of math when you get older. But right now in preschool, it's really important for us to be able to tell what a number is and to be able to count. And I know many of you know your numbers and you can count from one to five or one to 10, one to 20, some of you can go from one to 100. And that's awesome. And remember, it doesn't hurt to review things that we already know. So today we're going to start by looking at the two numbers that we've been studying at preschool so far this year. And the first number is this number. Can you tell what it is? This is the number zero. Now, if you have zero pieces of candy, do you have any candy? <laughs> no, you don't, do you? But zero is more important than just telling us that we don't have anything. Um, zero does lots of things, and you'll be learning more about that when you grow a little older. So I just want you to know zero is actually pretty important, even though it stands for nothing. And then our other number that we've been studying is this number. What number is this? It's the number one. So we've been looking at zero and one. And I thought it would be fun to start learning how to write our numbers through the air. So we're going to do something that I call air writing. And all you have to do, you don't need a pen or a pencil or anything. All you have to do is use your pointer finger. So you pick, you've got two pointer fingers, pick the one that you want to use. And then you can watch me as I go through how to write a zero and then you can do it too. So you start at the top for the zero and then you go around and you come back to the top. Can you follow me and do it? Start at the top, go around and come back to the top. And we have a little poem that we can use to remember how to write a zero. And it goes like this. Start at the top, around you go. That's the way to make a zero. Should we do that again? Start at the top, around you go. That's the way to make a zero. Let's do it one more time. Start at the top, around you go. That's the way to make a zero. And I thought I'd show you how to do that on a whiteboard too. So I start at the top, around you go. That's the way to make a zero. Does the zero remind you of any shape? You know, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a circle. Hmm. All right, now one is very easy. One, you start at the top and go down and you stop and that's a one. Hmm. Let's do that again. Start at the top, go down, stop. That's a one. We have a little poem about this too, if Mrs. Becker can remember it. Straight line down, then you're done. That's the way to make a one. Oh, let's do that again. Straight line down, then you're done. That's the way to make a one. Let's do it one more time. Straight line down, then you're done. That's the way to make a one. Very good boys and girls. Now, one of the things we do in math, oh, I forgot to show you how to make a one on the whiteboard. Start at the top, so straight line down, then you're done. That's the way to make a one. Very good. All right, as I was saying, another thing we do in math is some sorting. And since we're working with zeros and ones, I thought we could sort zeros and ones. So I have a bunch of zeros and ones here and I'm gonna mix them up and I'm gonna put them down here so I can't even see them and I'm gonna draw one out and we have to decide where it goes. Do you know what this is? A zero, oh my goodness, and where should it go? Should it go here under the zero column or under the one? You're right, it should go with the zero, shouldn't it? All right, I don't even know what's coming next, let's see. Oh my goodness, what number is this? It's a zero, isn't it? And you know what, this zero might be hard to see because my, my background is black, so let me do this so you can see the zero. Okay, all right, oh, what am I gonna find next? Oh, what is this? It's a one. So to sort it right, we need to put it over with the other one, don't we? All right, let's see what I come up with next. Oh my goodness, what is this? It's another zero. So now I need to put it with the zeros. All right, let's see what I can find now. What's this? Oh my goodness, it's a one. Guess what? It gets to go over here. And then, what 
The number is this. Oh my goodness, that's a one. I put it over here. And now, let's see. I have one left. What's this? A zero. So where does it go? That's right. It goes with the zeros here. So we just did some sorting. That's a math thing. And you know what? Now we can count the number of zeros we have and the number of ones that we have, okay? So let's count our zeros. One, two, three, four, five, okay? Let's count our ones. One, two, three, four. Oh my, which one do we have more of? Zeros or ones? You're right, we have more zeros. Very good. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at a PowerPoint and I have to set this up, so give me a second to do that. All right, we're going to be looking at this PowerPoint and each slide has a different number, either a zero or a one, and you could just yell out which one the number is. So which number is this? Is this a zero or a one, everybody? Very good, that's a zero. Oh, now look in the middle here. What number is this? Everybody yell it out. Well, that's right. That's a one. Ooh, what number is this? You're right. That's a zero, isn't it? What's this number? Good. That's a zero, too. What number is this? You're right. That's a one. Ah, oh, what number is this? It's a big red zero, isn't it? Now look closely in the middle. What number is this? Good. That's a one. What number is this? Well, it's another one. And what number is this? I think this number's made of candy. It looks delicious. It's a zero, isn't it? And what number is this? It's over here. That's right, it's a one. And there's one apple there, isn't there? All right, so we're finished with that. Very good, boys and girls. All right, and then I thought we could do a number game and it's just with zeros and ones. And to do this, we're gonna take our hands and we're going to either show a zero. We're just going to do this for zero because that's nothing. And we're going to do this for one. So zero, one, zero, one. You can do this with me. Zero, one, zero, one. And what's going to happen is we're going to put our hands behind our back. You can put both of them and wiggle our fingers. And then I'm going to go one, two, three. And when I get to three, then you're going to show me either a zero or a one. And your job is to try to match me. But if you don't, it doesn't matter because this is just supposed to be fun. All right, so one, two, three, and then I'll go show and you can show me the number. One, two, three, show. Does anybody match me? Who matched me? What number did I show? Zero. Okay, let's try it again. One, two, three, show. Okay, show a number. Oh, did you match me? What number am I showing? A one, that's right. Let's try it again. Wiggle those fingers. One, two, three, show. Ah, did you match me? I showed a one. All right, let's do it again. One, two, three, show. All right, I hope you're showing a number. Here's a number. What number did I show? Zero, let's do it again. Oh, wiggle those fingers. All right, one, two, three, show. <gasps> what number did I show? A zero. One more time. One, two, three, show. <gasps> what number did I show? A one, that's right. So don't forget about zero and one. And I'm going to put two links up for Jack Hartman songs about number zero and number one. And I hope you get a chance to look at those. Thank you, boys and girls, for helping me with numbers today. And I look forward to doing more numbers in the weeks ahead. Bye-bye for now.